And mockery is something that I've said before the Muslim has to get used to. It's going to happen. It's for sure going to happen. The, uh, the Quran has promised us. Kuffar, if they can't get you rationally, they can't get you on any level, they'll just mock you. Because they know that in the hearts of the weak-minded, nobody wants to be part of a religion that's mocked or a group of people that is mocked. Okay, no one wants that. So, uh, uh, in that respect, uh, mockery is something that the Muslim has to be careful of. And it's a sign of weakness from the opponent. MashaAllah, that was my teacher, Dr. Shadi Ad Masri. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect him and preserve him. And mockery is something that I come in contact with on a daily basis. It doesn't bother me at all. Like he said, if they can't get you on anything rational or theological, they just go straight to mockery. And indeed, it is a sign of weakness. I mean, honestly, on a daily basis. Let's see. Um, I probably block about 10 to 15 people every single day. And I delete, oh my God, 50 to 60 comments every single day. Yeah, every single day. Some of the comments are people just being rude and mocking. Some of the comments are from Christians that are attempting to preach to us based on misinformation, of course. And so that is something that I have said and announced since the beginning of my channel. I do not debate. I refuse to discuss something or argue something that my opponent knows nothing about or has been misinformed. Case in point, you worship the moon god. You worship a stone in the middle of the desert. Uh, there's just no real conversation that we can have if he truly does believe this. I have made it very clear since the beginning, I am not here to discuss or debate. I am here to teach you what Christianity truly is, and I am here to teach you what Islam is, not the other way around. I will not have people discussing or telling me what Islam is when they believe that I worship a stone, okay? And that is why I delete so many comments. Actually, I delete all of them. They will say, oh, you just live in an echo chamber, and I don't mind that, because I'm here to propagate the true Islam not enter into a discussion with you or argue with you. I've heard your arguments and I've heard the same misinformation for three decades now. Literally every single thing out of misinformation that you tell me, I've heard it before. Not only have I heard it before, I've heard it thousands of times before and I have answered the same question thousands of times. It's so funny to watch Christians when they really, you know, they get some information, they get all excited to debunk Islam, but yeah, we've heard it all before and we've answered it all before, sorry. My case is unique and I'll tell you why. Put plainly, I know both sides of the coin. I've been raised for the first 19 years of my life as a Christian and now I've been Muslim for almost 32 years. You cannot tell me anything new. That's why I'm not interested in the discussion. I'm more interested in propagation of Islam. To all of the Muslims, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And to the non-Muslims, Allah yahdiq, Allah guide you.